I've got this game where I can put platforms into a level. The platform object behaves the same way wherever I put it, but sometimes the object is a tree stump, sometimes it's a bridge, sometimes it's a roof. While they're all parented to the same platform object, if I want each platform to look different in Game Maker's Room Editor, I need to create a new object for every kind of platform. This can get bulky pretty quickly if you have a lot of platforms, and makes the workflow a little tedious. Luckily, I've come up with a way to make this a lot easier. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. The problem is that I have one object called OBJ Platform, but I'm only allowed to see the sprite that's assigned to it when I place it into the room. I want to be able to see the different sprites for each platform so I can design my levels a little easier. I could change the sprite for each one in the creation code, but those changes will only show during gameplay and won't look any different in the room editor. My favorite solution here is to use an asset layer to display the sprite I want to see in the room editor, then use some code to swap out the sprites in the asset layer with the platform object. Then, just before you see anything, each platform uses the sprite that it replaced on the asset layer. Using this trick, you'll be able to use one object for all platforms, and you'll also be able to see each platform's unique sprite in the room editor. It's the best of both worlds. I'll show you how to do it. I've created an asset layer in my room called Platforms. Any sprites I put onto this layer will turn into an instance of OBJ Platform when the game runs. I'll put a few sprites on this layer. The magic lies within a script hidden in the room's creation code, and it doesn't look so scary, so let's check it out. So here's a look at a room's creation code. There's two things in here. I define a function called platforms create, and then I immediately call that function so that this will run just before the room starts. This function creates a jump through platform on every asset on a layer in the room editor. So first, we'll define the name of our, of our platform layer and then the platform object, which we call platforms and we're using OBJ platform to replace the sprites. First, let's get the platforms layer. Then we'll get all the elements on the layer and loop through them. We'll, we'll take each element and we'll take note of its sprite, its position, and its scale. Then we'll create a platform in its place. Last, we'll match the platform sprite and size to the sprite on the layer. So to summarize, any sprite I put on the platforms layer will automatically be replaced with an instance of OBJ platform, and that instance will change its sprite to the sprite it replaced on the layer. Let's test it out in game. I'm able to use these like I would any other platform, even though they were just sprites in the platforms layer just a second ago. This saves me a lot of time not having to create a new object for every platform that I want to add, and it's a nice way of making the room editor a little more friendly. What's your favorite way of using layers? Thanks for watching and sticking around to the end of this video. If you want to keep up with the latest videos, hit the subscribe button.